Hey folks, welcome back to another HP Gaming Game Link video. We have something that I'm really, really pumped to show you today, an unboxing, if you will. I love it when we get to support Australian creators, and this is no exception. I'm very excited to be able to get into this one because there is a lot of lore and other mythology behind what you're about to see. In the distant forests, the native bushland surrounding the areas, most of the capital cities and the regional areas outside of our uh, lovely fair nation, there are talks of creatures that roam the wilds, causing all sorts of mayhem and mischief for campers who are trying to just relax and get away from it all. Lurking through the forests, trying to chuck, ch suck down on gum leaves and uh, any campers they can get their hands on, you always have to be careful for the nastiness that lies in store. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the one from Platypus Industries. I'm talking about Drop Bears. Welcome back folks to the channel. For those of you who don't know me, and you should by now, my name is Matt, and I'm sure we're gonna become the very best of friends if we are not already. As I said in tease, I'm very excited to be taking a look at Platypus Industries drop bears today. Uh, this is one that um, we had handed, obviously it's something we backed, um, supported them obviously uh, as well. Uh, I'm very excited to show you there are a few other boxes that are off to the side too. Uh, I am not gonna rest on my laurels. I'm gonna smash through this within reason, pretty much like the drop bears would be around the campsites, uh, because we are limited in our shooting time. Um, <laughs> given the chaos, as that last video, uh, for those of you who watched Primal, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, plastic, of course, goes on the floor, uh, and true to form, we have some expansion content for you to look at as well. So, first of all, very excited for this. Uh, nice to support local uh, supporters, local distributors, local designers. Let's have a look on the overhead. Whoop, there she is. He is, I should say. The art's awesome. Uh, Matt Aslan uh, has put this one together. Uh, a local boy from, uh, yeah, very close by, very close to home for us, which is very nice. Uh, let's unlid this bad boy and let's see what we've got in the box. I'm gonna put this here. Oh, it's uh, upside down, but that's all right. It's all upside down. How does that happen? Ah, just the way it's been packaged. Yep, that's all the right way up on my side. That's okay, we're gonna flip this around. Now what I love about this is that the map is always different every time and you actually create a dispenser tree uh, which you then can leave, I believe, assembled in the box. I will say too, just a moment, there is a bit of errata here um, as players around the world have been unboxing and taking on the drop bears because this is a pandemic style co-op game. Uh, they've found a few slight errors, misprints, things like that inside the box. There is a full uh, fact of bits and pieces that you need to be addressed, uh, that need to be changed uh, in this lovely website address you'll see on the bottom of your screen there uh, but having said that let's still charge forward assembly guide how it all goes put together how to storage uh, storage how to storage how to store things as well sorry very excited very passionate and time poor so I'm very excited to uh, get through this one as well uh, storage guide for all the components that's awesome you do not see that uh, in a lot of big uh, mass produced games anymore a lot of Kickstarters are starting to do it, but uh, shouldn't do it as, or don't do it as much as they should. The rule book, which is this beautiful full color, uh, crazy bit of chaos here. Uh, this is all the component list index, how it works, how to play. Um, oh, it's just full of nostalgia for me, for those of us local to the country. <laughs> now this is the punch outs, upside down you drongo. I love the lingo, it's fantastic. Uh, drop bears galore. I probably should have put on a bit of an accent for this. Ah, maybe it'll come in later. Um, you flaming mongrels, etc. Uh, so you've got uh, different tree punch outs there, different components for the game, campsites, etc. I believe that's double sided. Uh, different uh, navigation tiles there as well. That's cool. Uh, the chipboard is actually quite nice. If I punch out this little marker here, it's quite, quite thick. A little bit thicker than most. I don't know if you can see that on the overhead, but it is quite, quite nice. Uh, we're going to put that to the side now. Yes, we'll get to all of this. I'll bring the, uh, the the camera in for that. But first things first, you have 
that dual layered board. Now this uh, is uh, the Dust Till Dawn board, I think. Yeah, Dust Till Dawn, uh, uh, basically a time track um, that will help you navigate your way through the chaos. Uh, there are some angry red marks down here, which I think we wanna stay away from. And I do love that it is dual layered as well. And I believe it's double, yes, it is double sided. So maybe that's for different player counts. Uh, that's very cool. Uh, we have uh, camper components. We have cards galore. And this is a big box. There's obviously a bit of stuff underneath as well, including, I believe, some Kickstarter exclusives. Now the cards are, I think, uh, for the different um, drop bears, plastic on the floor, but also for the campers as well. So you've got, you know, influences. How dare they have influences in this game. Uh, hippies. City Slickers, Grey Nomads, if I go too fast, please pause the video, uh, Personal Trainer, Student, a Cook, a Cheerleader, a Garbo, for Australian, Volunteer Medic, uh, The Child, Bluey, there you go, uh, and then you've got Companion Actions for Bluey and the Child, Campers Actions, a Turn Guide, and then you have Blinky, as in Blinky Bill, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, you have Mongrel, or Mongrel, Scar, and Howler. And then you've got Feral and Cheryl. Uh, I love that, I love that. And they all have different actions. Now, I believe some of these were misprinted, as I said earlier. Uh, there is a rider that's available uh, through the Discord at the moment for Platypus Industries. Uh, and I'm sure there will be something to be discussed down the track for that, um, maybe a PDF or something you can download. Uh, I don't think it's a huge issue once you understand uh, what changes you need to make. But you've got those cards there. Uh, I do like the trays that sort of dismount from the box. That's kind of cool too. We have some tiles for the game board. And I do like the sorting mechanisms here. That's very cool. These fellows we're gonna get out of here because we'll have a look at those later. We have a first player expert survival guide token. <laughs> Uh, it is a severed hand holding a first player token. Um, that's very cool. We'll get a close up shot of that uh, in the not too soon future. And more cards, more dice, more token bits, etc. Uh, there we go. So let's shuffle this aside. Oh, did I miss something? I didn't miss something. It's just the tray. Awesome. Uh, I should say too, the uh, box art is pretty sick. Um, sick good, not sick bad. I love it. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. All right, so let's see, we've got cards for days. Now these are gonna be card, like game cards, I guess, for um, the different facets of play. So you've got the cool backings there, different uh, modes, you've got uh, item cards, etc. Uh, ideally, you wanna collect as many of those as you can because they will help you survive the night. Again, co-op style game, uh, cooperative play, survive the night or die trying. Uh, we have our Torch, Pretty straightforward. Matches, very useful. Kindling, to light fires, flares, lanterns. Vegemite toast, discard to gain one action point. Vegemite on toast, very handy. Um, meat pies. Lamingtons, because you've got to have some lamingtons. The Australiana feel is so good. Uh, not since, not since um, uh, Big Bang Burgers, which you can find our review for here. Uh, have I seen such a game filled with Australiana uh, nostalgia? Uh, damper, bandages. Medical kits, medicine, all very helpful. Compass, very important. A park map. A billy can. Uh, that would be where you would brew your billy tea in boots. Utility knife, ration packs, survival guides. A radio, batteries. What else have we got? Uh, Ned's helmet, as in Ned Kelly, the uh, outlaw. A uh, cute toy. Uh, conditions, you've got unconscious conditions. Yeah, don't get those. Don't become unconscious, that would be very bad. Uh, we have a series of dice. Now I believe uh, some are combat dice, some are standard dice for different elements of the game. And I do like these two because they are uh, slightly translucent. I don't know if you can see the glow here uh, of the D12s um, and the D6s as well. And they work. Um, I'm pretty sure 11, I don't know, it's good to roll high, but not all the time. Um, they work uh, very well. Uh, they do what they're meant to do, which is always nice. Uh, and there's a nice sort of weight to them. They're not too overly chunky, heavy. Um, yeah, quite nice. I do, I do love good dice. Uh, those of you who watch our D&D content will know that I am a dice hoarder. Now these are your markers for your uh, 
character um, cards. You saw the larger tarot size, size cards there. I believe these go on uh, the different characters for health markers, um, skill points, etc., or something else. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, but these are made of a sort of acrylic and they slide up and down the card, which is quite nice. They look good. Um, production value is nice. I'm digging it so far. I knew it was going to be a lot of fun to have a look at it and all the rest of it and get in the guts of it, but I didn't quite know what I was going to get as a final product. So I'm excited to one, get this at the table and see how it plays, etc. Um, but also uh, share a playthrough with all of you. All right, so let's have a look here. We have uh, some tiles. Now these tiles will make up the map. Uh, I think they're placed from that um, uh, tree uh, that we saw earlier. So they have map uh, locations on the back, which is pretty straightforward. But you have tile locations such as the Creepy Billabong, a massacre site. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, barren mine shafts. I'm getting Nemesis vibes from the numbers moving around here, which is very cool. Rugged bushland, uh, crash ute. Uh, barren mine shafts, bushland, blackberry bushes, a creepy billabong again. So there's multiples of each. Uh, doomsday cache. <laughs> Some prepper is out there in the bush waiting for the drop bears to take over the world. Uh, burnt bushland, more blackberry, rugged bushland. A uh, mauled hiker. Ouch. Another crashed ute. Doomsday cache. Creepy billabongs, mauled hiker. A lot of these repeat, which I don't mind. Bushland, bushland, bushland. The more bushland, the better. I'm gonna pop that to the side here. We'll get the other rooms out. I'm pretty sure I can throw these baggies away or use them for some other storage, for some other bits. Uh, we have more tiles. Now these look like they're a bit more involved. You've got a timber mill, these are locations. So maybe, I know they have the same back, base camp, medical station, a drop bear nest. Uh, don't go there. Uh, park rangers unit, decaying o sta o Q station, Abandoned camp, drop bear nest again, there's at least two of those, that's not great. Bushland, uh, a desolate shack, total horror movie. Oh, what? This should be a horror film. I would go, I would watch that horror film in the cinemas. Uh, Park Rangers Hut, uh, World War II bunker is here, timber mill again. Park Rangers Hut, picnic area, abandoned camp, bunkers, picnic area, a waterfall, that's cool. Uh, Mauled hiker. Uh, we have more waterfalls, waterfalls and bushland again. So I'm gonna put those to this side. Now these are your tokens, your campers. Uh, and of course, the OG first player token. They are quite large. I did not expect them to be so big. Uh, that was the original first player marker, a nice sort of femur bone, but also that's changed with the upgrades. A day night marker uh, that follows along on your board, which is pretty straightforward there. Uh, you have the dog, uh, Bluey. Uh, and all the different park uh, characters here as well. Um, these are pretty, like there's the child, there's obviously a difference in size, the Garbo, who's got a, a bit of a knife hacking, hanging out there as well. And they're quite thick. I dig them, I dig them, they're very good. They're very good and I do like, I mean screen printing, um, that's what I like about the dice, the dice are etched. And I do like prefer etched dice rather than screen printing. The screen printing on these is really good quality. It's very nice indeed. All right, I think that's it for the core box with one notable exception, and I'm talking about the actual drop bears themselves. What I'm gonna do is bring the camera in because after this is done, I have a few other things to show you as well. Biggages, not just miniatures. Give me a moment. We're back uh, with a few extra close-ups for you of the drop bears in question. First of all, let's have a look at that first player marker. Uh, there it is in all its disgusting glory. I do like there's a bone there. Uh, it says on the side, you know, survival uh, expert um, who is doing their very dandest to not. You've got gum leaves there as well. I, I love it. I really love it. It's a nice touch. It's very, very cool. Uh, then we have our friends, the drop bears themselves. We have, now I'm not going to know. I'm going to try and figure out who's who, but I might not. Um, look, I'll have a title card that'll come up for each one. But I mean, this is what we're talking about. This is what you're fighting. I just, it's so good, <laughs> I love it, I love it. I've just gotten back into painting, so it looks like eventually I'm gonna get around to uh, giving these guys a bit of a coat, but I mean, he's got, it looks like a hand or an arm here uh, in the tree, you've got, I mean, those nasty, look at this. I would not, I would not wanna see this guy uh, in a campsite somewhere. 
And you got this feral screamer up here who's not called feral, I think he's something else, but he's laughing like a damn hyena. And I think, I could be wrong, and again, you've got more um, debris and other bits and pieces in the, in the trees here, but I think these are uh, randomized. They're not all necessarily on the board at the start, so you discover discover them as you make your way through. Uh, if, at any, if at any time, as you know, for those of you who watch the channel, I make any goofs, you'll see the results appear on the screen with the corrections and errata, etc. We have Howler, I recognize this bad boy. Now he's got, it looks like a backpack there, which is very cool. Uh, his claws hanging on. This is the usual state of a koala that you would see uh, out at Hillsville Sanctuary or, or um, any other sort of zoological garden. They are usually just chilling out in a tree, but this guy is howling like the dickens, and I dig it. I dig it. Oh, these are so good. And then you've got this guy who is ready to leap off that leaping pose. I love it. I love it. He's so good. Oh my goodness. The claws are nice too. There's not really a lot of flashing on the uh, the model sculpts, which is nice. The leaves and things here as well. Leaping majestically to uh, maul you to your death. Um, it's, it's just, it's bloody... <sighs> it's a ripper. It's a ripper. I'm not going to lie. It's a ripper. I just got to try and figure out how to put these back in. There we go. Uh, the last one here, I think it's the last one. I've shown you one, two, three. Hang on. Have we got... That's how long. Yes, uh, is the uh, two pack. So this is feral and uh, the child. So you've got the child drop bear there. there. I do like the uh, camp size camp, 20 kilometers, bush toilets is just around the corner in case you shit yourself when you see this thing. Uh, and then you've got, uh, I just, uh, there's, there's no words. It's just awesome. Now, if you're not terrified of seeing that in the wild, you are not Australian. <laughs> The legend of the drop bears have been around since the dawn of time itself. Ah, oh, so good, so good. Okay, that takes care of uh, the core box. Um, but as with most things, there is always just that little bit extra. Now, the core box is here. I'm gonna put these away to the side. Uh, but as I said to you, we've got something a little bit extra special. So give me one moment and we'll uh, have a look and see what we've got. Now to kick things off with this one, it wouldn't be a Drop Bears game without uh, referencing other wildlife. Now the creator himself, uh, Matthew, has turned around and said that uh, he likes to put platypi or platypus, pl platypuses, platypi, in every game that he creates, hence Platypus Industries. This is no exception because you have the ancient Una expansion. Now this is a, a different mode of play. Now I believe this one here allows you to play uh, a one versus the many set. So one person or one player takes on the role of the platypus uh, and tries to bring the hurt to the campers as well as the drop bears, as far as I'm aware. Uh, and I kind of I, I kind of dig that. So let's get the plastic off this bad boy uh, and we'll show you how this all works, what's inside. Plastic goes on the floor. There is the art for the ancient Una box there. Drop bears expansion, one versus many. It's so good. Let's have a look. Um, Una means business. That is, uh, that goes without saying, I think, at this point. I'm going to put that one to the side. Again, things are upside down. I don't know why, but that's okay. Storage guide, uh, always very helpful. The storage guide of how it also works. We'll put that one to the side. We have a rule book for ancient Una. Now, this has uh, all the bells and whistles of how this all works. Win, lose conditions, expansion. Uh, and then you've got all this little bit of a... Um, uh, blurb text uh, and what's included in the box as well, how Ancient Una wins. Uh, now you have these different tile sets. Now these are the dens for Ancient Una, which I I dig. Uh, they are uh, randomized like that, so you can shuffle them up and mix them out. Uh, Tack, Trickling Creek, Shallow Crossing. Now I believe, are these slightly all different maybe? I don't know, they are. Den, den the dens, beast den in different spots. Oh, that's so good. I love it. I like that randomization. Having a bit more customization to the game adds to replayability. Very, very important. We will get to that in a moment. We have an ancient Una card, which was here. We have ancient Una as a monster, ancient Una as a player, I believe. Drop bear cards. That's it. There's two different versions of those. Oh, I should bring them side by side. There we go. Two different versions of those, which is very, very cool. Plastic for the floor. 
we have more tokens here and more of the um, uh, guides or for the um, uh, health trackers and whatnot. Uh, tokens galore and there's little punch outs here. Again, the tokens are quite quite thick, I think if I put it there. These ones aren't as thick as the ones in the base game, but I don't mind that. They still make a good noise as far as chits go. Uh, more cards here. And I think you've got on the side of the box as well, you've got all these different um, platypus facts too, which is very, very cool. Uh, and then you've got uh, on both sides platypus facts. Wonderful facts about the platypi. Uh, let's open this one up. Has this got a seal on it? Yes, it does. Ripping into it, folks. Ripping into it. We have Antidote. These are more um, different cards for different uh, things. Widgety Grubs. Again, more Australiana. Yabbies. A Cricket Bat. Some Swag. Painkillers. Uh, poison. We don't want Poison. Uh, intellect. Invigorate. So these are cards that Una can use. Aggression. Unperturbed, Scarred Hide, Digger, a Fleshy. <laughs> oh, I love it. And a sleek design. So good. So good. And then, of course, my friends, we have Ancient Una herself. Or their self, I shouldn't assume. Now, that is some nasty... <laughs> I love it. On a massive base. It's so good. The tail is fantastic. The clawed hand, the webbed uh, hands there as well. The base is detailed too, which is nice. I just love the jagged teeth. Like, that's just, it's it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Um, I dig it. I dig it. It's everything about it. It's amazing. Uh, I'm very excited to see not just the base game, but the expansion content as well. In fact, we're going to do a playthrough of the base game, but if you want to see one of the other expansions, there's two expansions here, uh, let us know in the comments which you which you would prefer to see Charlotte and I take on and probably fail spectacularly. Uh, but we'll come back to that another time. I'm going to then reset a little bit of this because I have two more boxes to get through, uh, one of which I'm very excited about. Uh, the other one is an upgrade, but we'll talk about that in a moment. We'll come back with old Bruce. There comes a time when you're in unboxing and doing expansions and everything else as well when you discover something a little bit special and this is one of those occasions. This is a boss module for this game. What do I mean by boss module? I mean it's time to take on old Bruce himself and I don't expect us to fare very well. Reports I'm getting so far indicate that old Bruce, let alone the base game, are not impossible. <laughs> Uh, in spectacular fashion as old Bruce should be. Old Bruce is the granddaddy of them all in terms of uh, his involvement as a drop bear and he's harnessing the power of screaming um, screaming folk, effectively. I'm gonna rip the plastic off this one, I'll show you the artwork. I expect it to be a little bit upside down as well, which is very odd, I don't know why that is the case. Plastic on the floor. The old Bruce expansion is in fact a, a boss battler, you can see here, boss battle mode. I love it, he is nasty. The small little hand gives you a, a sense of scale and scope. Um, the old Bruce box has lots of crazy art on it uh, of Bruce just tearing through the wildlands as he does. Um, I think I originally placed him when I um, spoke to the folks about this somewhere out in the Grampians uh, in Victoria. Uh, nasty business. So we have a storage guide that's the right way up. Who knows, who, who knew, there you go. Old Bruce is there. Uh, you've got here, uh, there you go, uh, storage guide information. Sorry, I've seen something I'm excited about. Um, cards from the Tabletop Gamers. There's a few extra expansion cards here as well. Uh, that is, of course, Jesse from Quackalope, who is awesome. Check out his channel if you haven't already. And let's face it, you probably already know who Quack Quackalope is or are. Uh, we have plastic for the floor. There we go. We have this cards for the survivors the tabletop gamer uh tech support and then of course the old bruce card himself I'm just making sure i'm getting everything in shot there sorry very excited because i've just seen something that i uh, didn't expect to find on the box um old bruce is there and uh, a nasty big drop bear card as well um there is a rule book for the expansion which i can't fit in frame because i've got the camera too close uh, but it details the game mode uh, how it all sort of works, how to set up the boss fight board, which is here as well. Very, very cool. Now, 
many, many, a good while ago now when this was still on um, Kickstarter uh, and I was trying to help. Actually, after Kickstarter, they were developing and asking the backers for the support. Um, the creator reached out and asked for some, some law uh, about old Bruce. Uh, that law that I helped put together, uh, which was repurposed, and uh, Matthew has kindly put it on the side of the box. So if I don't know if you can see here, but this text here is a rehashing of some uh, some law that I wrote uh, to go with it. So I'm that's that's very excited, uh, very excited to see that uh, out uh, out on the box. That's, that's very proud, very proud moment. Uh, you've got information on the tabletop gamer on the side, tech support, uh, and then you've got a bushland legend about the ancient Una on there as well. But that is not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Mr. Bruce himself. So you've got the boss cards or boss uh, boards that go together uh, and cause all sorts of trouble, which I kind of really dig. And it looks like there's some extra tiles as well here. Gain gain a rancid bait each camp against utility cards, timed events. Oh, I love it. It's nasty. Yes, we'll get to that in a moment. I'm just going to shuffle him to the side so we can't see him just yet. Uh, tokens. So extra space, etc., for those. And again, these ones are that same uh, thinner version as opposed to the, the base box, but that's okay, we don't mind. Uh, you've got more tokens, because it's all about the tokens. Oh my gosh, I can't even open the baggies now. I'm kind of excited. Um, so you've got the, uh, the camper or the tabletop gamer, uh, the tech support officer. Oops, I'm dropping things now. And then of course you've got uh, the drop bear token as well. And again, they're quite thick, durable. Uh, we might keep those in this box, just so we don't separate things out just yet. Uh, we have uh, some red uh, cubes tokens, more just a smaller, slightly smaller than pandemic style cubes uh, that do what they, they do what they say about on the box, I guess. Uh, we have more cards. This arrived uh, actually a week and a half ago or a couple of weeks ago now, and we have been so busy and dealing with other stuff and have the house full of people all the time, coming to see the baby, uh, screaming children. It has been, I've been dying to do this unboxing. It has taken me a long time uh, to get to this point, but I'm very, very happy with what I've seen so far. Platypus Industries, chef's kiss, uh, love your work. Cards wise, we have an energy drink. Uh, I'm gonna get a coffee after this. Cork hat, uh, minties, <gasps> yes. Minties are a classic Australian delicacy. I love it, I love it. If you are not from this country and you've never had a minty, do yourself a favor when you're back here next. Uh, by all means, uh, they are quite spectacular. A classic esky, medical kit. I mean, forget the medical kit, give me the minties. Kangaroo jerky, nice. GPS, very important. A gas cylinder, rusty shovel, rancid meat, and soggy dynamite. Ouch. Uh, could prove quite deadly in the wrong hands, but what are we here for? Okay, we are here for the man himself, Mr. Brucey. Here he is. This is old Bruce. Now, the other miniatures for this one, let me just grab uh, our Howler friend, because I can, he's the one I remember, yeah. This is Howler, and this is old Bruce. That is the size difference we're talking about, and I love it. Uh, so, Let's see what we've got here. You've got old Bruce in all of his glory. He is heavy. He's heavy. Um, holding on to a screaming camper who is, um, well, they're a goner. Uh, maybe that's Frank, the guy on the side of the box. Uh, you've got uh, him screaming. In, look at this. Look at it. Oh, it's, it's so good. It's so good that the the the, the roughage on the uh, hair. Uh, look at the claw holding onto the tree. Oh my god! Oh, that's a bit cute. Who's SW though? Maybe Matthew can comment and answer that question. Um, there is uh, a, a serious weight to this thing, as I said before. This is a work of art. Now, I believe there was a, a larger sculpted version as well, uh, which I think I saw a picture of, uh, pictures of on the Discord. Uh, playing that as a game piece would physically be impossible, I've been told, but uh, I'd make it work. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it's beautiful. As, as horrifying as this thing is, it's a beautiful piece of uh, gaming uh, nostalgia, and I dig it. 
this is going to hit the table a lot. I'm very excited, very excited. And I've got some avid gamers who are chomping at the bit to get into this one. That takes care of the old Bruce expansion and Ancient Uno expansion and the core box. But because I like to bling out my, my game, uh, I have also acquired uh, this one here. This is a deluxe token upgrade set for the game. So the tokens you saw in the base box uh, and also uh, in amongst um, the chaos uh, here. Um, uh, Delaxified acrylics, I think, maybe. Requires the drop box, uh, the, drop, the drop bears base game. Yes, well, that's fair enough. Um, now these are all gonna be in bags, so we're gonna get them out here. So this effectively takes the tokens, the chip boards, and turns them into uh, larger deluxe wooden upgrades, not acrylics, wooden. And I don't mind that. Uh, the wooden tokens, as you saw with the campus and everything else, are quite, quite lovely. So here you've got, these are the poison markers from our Una expansion, and they're quite, quite dense as you can see, which is awesome. Uh, we also have uh, more of everything else, basically. I do sometimes keep, I don't know if you guys do this as well, keep the originals rather than just the Lux, just in case, that way you've got more stock in case for whatever reason you run out of them. Uh, you have some garbage ones from uh, the Una expansion as well, I believe they're from. Or waste, camper waste. Maybe it's like, I don't know, you've got a clear house or else ancient Una comes and grabs the, uh, she's attracted to the garbage. I, I don't know. Uh, we've got some fight markers here, fisticuffs. Maybe to mark the uh, the damage that you deal. There, again, quite, quite dense. Got a great feel. Something about like having those in your hand makes you feel like you're flinging weapons and stuff. I dig it. Uh, and I don't know how many of those are actually on. Oh yeah, there's a few there. Uh, then we have what looks like other markers uh, and bits and pieces from the different expansions. So we've got uh, the uh, salvage icons. It looks like the two campfire icons that are there. Uh, you've got direction markers, movement markers, a great a great feel I, I, yeah okay then we have these uh, like the wound marker thingies here uh, which are uh, I think these are called expiry tokens very cool very cool indeed the expiry tokens dig them dig them uh, and nasty and red as well uh, effectively meaning uh, all sorts of chaos now I think that's it that's everything we've uh, unboxed a lot we've made an absolute mess there's plastic everywhere uh, all sorts of bells and whistles everywhere. But that wraps it up for Drop Bears in terms of an unboxing. Um, that did not take as long as I thought it would, and I'm actually quite excited about it. Uh, there is, of course, one other small thing that we like to do here at HP Gaming, uh, and that is, of course, do a flyover of all of this wonderful content. So we're going to set up the base game, and we're going to do a flyover of what it looks like to be set up for four players uh, at the table. Uh, and then, in the not too distant future, we will be doing a playthrough of the base game and also, also, uh, one of the expansions. So please let us know in the comments which would you prefer, old Bruce, who, I mean, has my vote, or the ancient Una, where it's one versus many. Um, yeah, let us know your thoughts. If you've played this game, if you're lucky enough to have your hands on your copy, please let us know your thoughts. Always like hearing back from the community about their findings on these games. The Errata, obviously, I mentioned it's a bit of a downer, but at the same time, production value. I'm very happy, it looks amazing. It's gonna have a great table presence at the table. And I think uh, come PAX, uh, I will be at PAX, so I will be dropping by the Platypus Industries booth to say hi to the team there and thank them for their product. Um, if you're around, uh, I will be heading up the D&D booth once again, so come and see me on Friday and Saturday. Uh, you'll find me around. Uh, by all means, folks, enjoy uh, your time. Get out there, play more games, be social, have fun, talk to your family. Uh, get around the table, have some laughs. Uh, but uh, that's it from us for now. Hopefully, uh, wherever you are, uh, you are being kind, being wonderful, and enjoying life to the fullest. And until next time, folks, uh, we will uh, leave it there. Uh, until next time, it is. Bye for now.